Strongest form of Majin Buu. What up, y'all? Yo, yo, yo. <clears throat> a few things I want to cover. What's good, uh, stores? What's good, Julian? What's good, everybody in the building? A few things I want to cover. Um, first and most foremost, I want to speak on the simple fact. When you start to... All right, when you are not fully aware and you don't possess enough information, it's easy for people things to go right in front of you and you not see them so I noticed when I was younger and when we all were younger and not only being younger but today uh, Dragon Ball Z is pretty much one of our favorite cartoons it's, an, it's always going to be a fan favorite right Dragon Ball Z is always going to be a fan favorite cartoon but I think we as a people don't really look at Dragon Ball Z the way we should look at it based on the simple fact we lack information or it's just certain things that we don't fully understand. Hold on just a second. Let me get the baby real quick. So, like I was saying, um, Dragon Ball Z is one of the one of our favorite cartoons as a whole. But when we younger, we don't really fully understand what's happening in these cartoons, and we don't really understand what's really happening in this cartoon. So, I'm gonna break this down for y'all, and I'm gonna say something that nobody never caught, and a lot of people never fully understood this. And when I was younger, I didn't really understand it too. It was good, right? So, I'm going to say something. I'm going to break something down to y'all to no return. Mr. Popo is the strongest person in the entire DBZ universe. I'm going to say this again. I'm going to say this one more time. Mr. Popo is the strongest person in the entire DBZ universe. Well, y'all think this is a joke. Mr. Popo is the strongest person in the entire universe, in the entire whole DBZ universe. There is no how. Y'all don't understand. Mr. Popo is literally blackface, bro. This nigga's a more. Like, have y'all studied the history of Mr. Popo? Have you actually studied the history of Mr. Popo and how long he's been around? This thing is literally a moor. He's a moor. He's like, bro, look what Vegeta said. Listen to this, bro. Pay attention to what Vegeta said to this man. 
Listen. Isn't that weird, black man? Yeah. Um, isn't that weird, black man? Yeah. Isn't that weird, black man? Look what he said to Mr. Popo. Isn't that weird, black man? Look what he said to Mr. Isn't that weird, black man? All right. I want y'all to see something. Look at this. Look at this shit, bro. Just really look at this shit, okay? Right? You see this shit, right? Okay, you see what's happening, right? So we not really now Super Sans, right? Super Sans, blonde hair, blue eye. Super Sans, blonde hair, blue eye. Super Saiyans. Right? You paying attention to what's happening. Are y'all really paying attention to what's happening? All right. So when you become final form at your strongest peak, you become blonde hair, light eyes. At your, this is what they're saying. When you become to your strongest peak, you become blonde hair, light color eyes, preferably blue. Blonde hair, blue eyes when you become peak. But the thing is, people are not understanding. This nigga right here trained these niggas. Y'all not understanding what happens. This specific nigga right here trains all of these niggas. They literally shot the greatest subliminal known known to cartoon history bro they shot Dragon Ball Z shot the greatest sub known to sub history bro not only was Mr. Popo a more brother not only is he a blackface more brother my nigga was a slave also. Yo, this shit cold. Not only was he blackface, a more blackface, he was also a slave. Bro. He was a slave and had been a slave forever. 
they shot Dragon Ball Z shot the greatest sub known to mankind. Did y'all see when he fucked over Lil Goku? Hold on, man. You niggas think this shit a joke. Hold on. Look, Lil Goku came over there talking that nonsense. As a martial artist is not shown frequently, Mr. Popo is an excellent martial art master. When he's introduced in Dragon Ball, his fighting prowess is far superior to Kid Goku's in nearly all aspects. When Popo meet Goku at the lookout, after defeating King Piccolo, Goku uses his power pole to reach Kami's lookout. When Watch Goku out. first reaches Kami's lookout in the anime... Bro, do this look like the Kimbo shit we was talking about yesterday? Popo got dummy hands. He with all the fuck shit. He, he, he just don't... Look, he just don't never get in the fights because he be like, man, you niggas ain't even on my level. He don't never come down from his lookout thing because he know nobody in the Dragon Ball Z thing on his level. So he don't even come fight. He like, for what? I beat up everybody. Oh, God, I got hands. Mr. Popo. He beating Lil Goku up with birds on his shoulder. The birds ain't even moving. Seated on a Persian rug with what appears... Look, he told a little bit... Hey, watch out, little fellas. I'm about to handle my lightweight. Look, look. He, turned, he told his birds... Hey, let me handle my lightweight. I'm going to get back with y'all in a minute. He encounters hey, Mr. Me, look, you seen... Hey, let me handle my lightweight real quick. Seated All right, watch out, y'all. Persian rug hmm. with what... All right, let me get back to this real quick. Here's do something. Do something. Fog covering him. Watch out. And birds Watch out. On, his on the set. Watch out. After they greet each other. Watch out. Battle, get your bitch ass out of here. Stop Vince playing with me. Oh, you think you finna throw a Kamehameha? Oh. Literally swallowed by. <sighs> that was cute. I'm gonna eat that right up. He ate the punch. Remember we were just talking about Kimbo ate the punch? We was just talking about Kimbo ate the punch. He just ate the Kamehameha, ate it. We just was talking about Kimbo ate the punch. He ate the Kamehameha, gomp. This ain't nothing, gomp. He ate that, gomp. To pop on return. Look, now he panicking. Oh, how you do that? Look, y'all not understanding. Mr. Popo is the strongest thing in the entire Dragon Ball Z universe. Y'all don't get it. Bro. Mr. Popo is the strongest character in the entire universe. Nobody in the entire universe of Dragon Ball Z want no smoke with Mr. Popo. My nigga really a more blackface out here training all of these niggas. Hold on. We're King Kai. Uh, King Kai. Hold on. Let me see. Mr. Popo fight. Let me see. They got more Mr. Popo fights. Mr. Popo versus Yamcha. Let's see the head up. We just talked about... Mr. Popo, we all know Goku received training here. Look, look. Mr. Popo on the set. I heard Goku came here and y'all was doing things. On Young? <laughs> Pete, I'm going to narrate it for you. All right. Mr. Popo, I know Goku came here and y'all was doing head ups and all that. Hey, man, what are you niggas going to tell us where the head up said? I'm going to need my fate. Ah, <sighs> sigh. I had to fuck over a few more of you niggas, huh? You niggas still think this shit a game. I'm crip. All right. Which one of you niggas want to run it? Oh, shit. Oh, no, no, shit. Not me, shit. No, no, I'm telling you. All right. I done fucked over a lot of niggas up here. Any one of y'all niggas want the fate? Uh, no, not me, uh... Run it then, nigga, on the set. Throw your shit up. Nigga, I'm with all the actions on the set, on the game. All right. Fine with me. That's on set. Watch this. I'm about to fuck over him. Dumbass nigga think this shit a game. 
do something, all right? Watch out, little fella. On the set, I'll fuck over you. Wham. Mark Tim out. Mark Tim all the way out. Man, fuck all you. Man, watch out. Bitch ass nigga doing all that, talking and all that. Marked him all the way out. Look, he doing all the yelling and all that. Man, bitch ass nigga on the set on the game. Man, watch out. Dumb ass nigga, fuck wrong with you. I got work to do. I got other people to worry about. I ain't about to be fighting with no marks. I ain't about to be fighting with... Nigga, you ain't even a saint. Look what he told him. Man, you ain't even no saying. You like a regular nigga in the saying clothes. You like a... You like a false gang member. You ain't... Man, you ain't even no real super saying. You got buck 50 on the face. Look, you got a buck 50. Super saiyans can't get cut. Nigga, how you got that? Man, watch out. I ain't about to fight you. You weird. I'm out of here. He didn't even fight him. <laughs> he said, man, you something like a weird nigga. I'm not about to fight you. Look, all right, let's keep it going. Mr. Popo, Goten, and Trunks, were he fighting two Super Saiyan kids. These little motherfuckers, strong as a bitch. Look, oh, yeah, these, these top ramen's fire. Hey, what kind you got? I got beef. I got beef flavor and all that, nigga. Chicken and all that, you feel me? Chicken got my fried chicken. All oh, this fire, right? This steak. My mom, you see all this A1 sauce on there? On the set. This good. Yeah. Hey, you know we got to fight. Uh, you know we got to catch the head with the one black nigga. Around the oh, there you go. Be quiet. Uh, what y'all doing, y'all? Hey, uh, bitch ass nigga. I heard you was talking shit. Nigga, keep on playing with me. I'll beat your bitch ass. Bitch ass nigga. I don't give a fuck about your daddy. Nigga, I taught all them niggas. Look at him. Shit, he showed it. I ain't stupid. You know, you had that one cousin that always want the mark all the way out because he ain't never want to help the other cousin. Remember, everybody had that one cousin that didn't really get in the shit. Man, put me down, bitch ass nigga. I'll bank your shit, bitch ass nigga. I don't care who you are. Black ass nigga, pink lip, red lips ass nigga, old bitch ass nigga. You better leave that nigga alone, cuzzo. That nigga got hands. Oh, fuck what you talk about? Run it. All right, then they went outside. Wham, look. He did a thing. He caught me off guard. Look. Wham! All oh, on the set. This little nigga is strong than a bitch. Fuck wrong with him. He's strong. He like a project kid. He gotta be from the project. Oh, these little niggas. Man, get your little bitch out. Look, they thought they was about to do us. Yeah. Hold on. They thought they was about to do a Super Saiyan flyaway thing. Man, he grabbed them little niggas up so fast. What y'all think y'all doing? That Super Saiyan shit don't phase me. Yoink. Fuck you think y'all going? Man, you bitch ass nigga they ain't going nowhere. Get over here. Like, I'm Uncle Johnny. Nigga, Uncle Johnny taught all y'all niggas. Fuck you niggas talk about. All right, come on. All right, well, drag me then. Run it. That's it. All right, watch out. Block all them. Watch out. I ain't with all that. Watch out. Man, on the... Look, look at him. Look, he a mark. Oh, he a mark. He tried to get away. Look, he ain't want none of the head up. He tried to get up out of... Look, look. The other cousin, this the bad cousin. You know, Trunks always been a problem. He coming back from the future and all type of shit. So you should have knew he was going to be like a problem when he came up. Look, he throwing his hand. Wham, wham, wham. Help me, cuzzo. Oh, nigga, I'm out of here. Shit. Look, look, I know what's about to happen. Look, he was throwing his punches. Look. We are. We are. We out of the way for mommy to come back. Look. Wham, 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 wham. Cuzzo, help me, cuzzo. Cuzzo. Uh, uh. Look, Mr. Popo, man, let me get out of here. Fuck, he thought he was going. Man, get your bitch ass over here. Nigga, you ain't going nowhere. Man, wham, 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 wham. I'm block all in. Wham, 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 wham. Watch out. Wham, 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 wham. Oh, you gonna kick a nigga? All right, cool. Watch this. Watch what he do. I don't want to hurt y'all little niggas. I'll fuck over y'all daddy and all that. Oh, you lucky your daddy came. I'm gonna just lay on the ground and make y'all think. I'm gonna just make y'all think y'all did the thing. Hey, Goku. You better get your cousins and your kids and all that, my nigga, for I beat their ass like I beat your ass. Nigga, you keep playing. You better get these little niggas. Tell them cut out all that flying and all that. 
Yo, I'm telling you, Mr. Popo like a thing, man. Y'all don't understand. Mr. Popo like a different type of thing. He don't think about Mr. Popo. He don't power up but nothing. He don't even make facial expressions. He don't do the ah, uh, none of that. He don't do none of that. Mr. Popo don't do none of that. He just stop things. He like a nice person. He don't want to, bro. Mr. Popo don't do power-ups or nothing. He just, nah. You all right. And you know when a black nigga all the way strong, we don't really be wanting no problems. You know how black people be. Nigga, Mr. Popo probably blow plenty of weed. He probably be up there in the lookout shit. Shit, that nigga Goku fucking that nigga jaring up. Shit. Shit, I ain't about to go down there. Shit, nigga, I'm chilling. Hey, King Kai, you see this shit? Niggas are catching face. King Kai talking about the world is about to end. Only you can save it, Mr. Popo. A nigga said, hey, bro, nigga, I got a date with the dragon. You know the Dragon Ball thing? I got a date with the dragon tonight, my nigga. We got some, you know, us God type of things. We don't really get involved in that thing. So, you know, when y'all niggas get some extra Dragon Balls or something, nigga, come holler at us. But for right now, nigga, we got things to take care of. Bro, Mr. Popo, the strongest, bro, he don't even flex a muscle. You know what Mr. Popo like to me? He like a black Majin Buu type. Remember when Majin Buu first came? We talking about the fat Majin Buu. Mr. Popo like one of them. He like a, man, Mr. Popo like one of them type of things. He like a fat Majin bro. I'm telling you. He don't even lift a mu he don't even break a sweat. He be disappearing. Look, y'all ain't peeping what he did. Man, the nigga did the ultra instant. He doing ultra instants and all that before go this is before Goku knew how to do it. He doing ultra instants. How he do the ultra bro, he doing ultra instants and all type of shit. This was before any of Goku was just learning Kamehameha. He already doing Ultra Instinct. Bro, I'm trying to tell y'all, Mr. Popo might be, bro, he OP people. He double OP. Mr. Popo's backwards is W-O-P, bro. It, he too OP, like double OP. They trying to, bro, you not looking at the wordplay of this. Mr. Popo backwards is OP OP. He literally a created he cheating. He cheating, bro. This nigga Mr. Popo could literally stop everything. I think when they finally get a nigga that's too strong, like you know, like a another nigga that's too strong. Mr. Popo going to take off his hat. All right, then, my nigga. I'm tired of all the fuck shit. Yeah. When they get, like, a super, super, super strong nigga that nobody can't stop, man, he going to take off that little more hat. All right, man. I'm t He going to have a clean ball head like Chef. Where Pixie? Right no. there. Right there. He going to take up, bro, he OP, bro. He double OP. OP, Mr. Popo Baggers, OP, OP, double OP. He going to take off that motherfucking thing. He fuck around has some waves under there. Yo, if Mr. Popo got waves under there, I'm done, bro. Oh, my mom, imagine he take off the thing. He got a clean edge up, waves and all that. He going to fuck around and pull out the wave brush. Y'all niggas sure y'all want to do this? Bro, Mr. Popo, literally the strongest character in the Dragon Ball Z 
universe, bro. He double overpowered. I don't think that's the actual meaning of his name, but okay. What's Mr. Popo backwards? What's Popo backwards? O P O P. What does O P mean in the in the fighting world? Overpowered. My nigga gonna be powering up. Mr. Popo gonna take off his wave cap and do this. Oh, so you wanna play, huh? That's how, you know how go sayings be like this. Ah, ah. That nigga Mr. Popo just go. Remember how a nigga used to make sure you had your back done? That's how he power up. My nigga brushed them ways, bro. You don't want a nigga went, bro, hey, on some G shit. On some G shit. I know we in the dreads era. I know we in the dreads and the nappy uh, J. Cole hair era. But when niggas had waves, oh, we thought we was unstoppable. Hey, y'all remember the wave era when Mason Bethel and all them niggas was running the game? The, when the nigga had waves, you felt you was unstoppable. Man, you come to classroom and take your wave cap off and fuck around. Oh, shit. Bro, when the nigga had waves, you felt like a god. My nigga, the wave era was a different era. You could be dirty as a bitch. No clothes, no fly gear, nothing. If you had waves, nigga, you Thanos. Nigga, the waves era was... <sighs> boy, that wave era was a different type of era, bro. That shit was a different type... Bro, my nigga... Remember we all had the crease, like, right here in front of our head? Remember? My shit's still there, look. Nigga, my shit's still there. That shit ain't... Bro, nigga used to have that wave cap on 24-7. You could never really take it off because, you know, you only had a limited time because, you know, when when your waves exposed to too much air, nigga, it start fucking up. So, you you know, you take your wave cap off, show a little people, get a few brushes in, put your shit clean back on, nigga. She, you can't never leave them waves out all day. Hell no, nigga, shit start folding up and shit. You know what was the ultimate killer? You know what really hurt the soul? Somebody walk by you and rub your hair the backwards way, like rub it back. Nigga, oh, oh, oh. Nigga was low key losing power. A nigga walk by you and rub your hair the wrong way. Nigga, you, nigga, your knees start getting weak and all type of shit. Oh, oh. My nigga. Let a nigga rub your waves the wrong way. I swear to God, bro. What's good, Flan? I swear to God, bro. Your whole power meter start going down. Nigga be dying. But anywho, let me get back to the little man. I'll get with y'all niggas in a minute.